Hello you guys. Uh, so I have just gone to the supermarket and one, I went when I was hungry, which means it was a bad idea. And two, now I am starving and I want to make myself something, but I want to try, oh man, bloody sink is wet. And I want to try and make myself something healthy. I think making the green juice um, yesterday just helped shift things for me a little bit and I'm not not 100% healthy in fact I should show you guys my uh, snack section in my pantry so you know I'm not here to preach like let's just have salads all day it's not me but it has triggered me to try and just make some healthier decisions the doorbell just rang I don't know if you guys heard that or if by that time my card I could see was just about to end so I just had to stop talking. It was a delivery from the Vegan Treat Company which I'm talking about healthy treats and I've got this box of brownies because it's in celebration of Easter which is I think such a such a sweet gesture. Um, so Jane if you're watching thank you so much. Okay so I'll be honest you guys I have not really been making food at home i've been ordering in more than i have been making food at home and i think that's why my eating hasn't been that good either like i've just not been making healthy decisions even when i'm ordering in so that's why i've been trying to change things up and getting vegetables in going for the grocery shopping and just getting better things in so i can eat and i'm also just i don't want to throw anything out i've got this which i got from zucchini i'm obviously gonna give this a wash i also got loads of vinegar my battery my bloody battery now oh jesus i'm just gonna give that a little bit of soap uh, like a little soak in water and vinegar solution cherry tomatoes that i bought a long time ago and i'm surprised that they're still well they're not all still okay but there's some that can be salvaged so that's what we're doing just gonna give this a quick rinse as well oh the peppers mm. okay i'm gonna try go for yellow pepper and red and i'm just going to thinly slice them like so let's get a little bit of carrot oh these i already washed yesterday thank god now for some feta god i love cheese actually i'm just gonna break this all right now i'm going to add chia seeds pumpkin seeds that is what my salad looks like currently okay for this dressing i'm going to use lemon another one olive oil honey and then some parsley this is what that concoction looks like now all right now just drizzle it all over Um, ooh, the baby salad, the lettuce leaves are uh, a lot more bitter than I anticipated. Um, but I'm gonna have this and should I just double up and just like completely just shock my system with all the, this good, good stuff? I think so. The green juice. May this make up for all the shit I ate in the last couple of weeks. You guys, is it focused? I had to change the settings because the settings in here are just like, I mean, the lighting and everything isn't that favorable, so I hope it's not too bright, but I just wanted to say that I worked out today. Excuse me. And I feel really good about that because I haven't worked out in almost two weeks now, if I'm being very honest. But before we figure out this mess that is a kitchen, which is why also you're perched up there because I'm going to do a time lapse as I clear this up. Um, I also just, I was listening to the podcast Oprah's Super Soul Sunday, and she was interviewing Alicia Keys. Oh, oh, oh. But it just, it just, I love 
who Anisha Keys is as a woman. I can't wait to get my hands on her book. I love the idea of speaking boldly into your life, into your goals and, and what you want for yourself. I love the idea of being kind to yourself, which is, I don't know if I've shared this with you, but that is my number one goal. This whole season, this quarantine, let's figure out life, what's gonna happen, oh my gosh, corona, should we be productive or not, what's gonna happen? My goal isn't to do so many YouTube videos and to be great on social media and all that. That's not my goal. My goal is to be kind to myself and to show myself the kind of love that I would desire for my daughter, for instance, to kind of just be like, all right, okay, baby, I know you've done your best. I know it's not exactly what you wanted for yourself, but it's okay. Tomorrow is another day. We'll try again. Oh, you didn't do all that work that you wanted to do. It's okay. It's fine. I'm still here and I will still love you. Like that's the kind of, I want to speak about myself and to myself like that all the time. And that is my goal through this period is to try and exercise that muscle. Um, all right, enough talking, enough yapping. This kitchen needs a good clean because look at this situation. I'm going to get my phone, uh, put a podcast on and cue a time lapse. Everything is as neat and tidy as it's gonna be this evening. Oh, you guys, I changed my fruit bowls. I used to have baskets um, made out of sisal. I think you guys have seen them before. Actually, it should be in my pantry. So this and that one. And then I realized that they were getting, it just, it looked like little seeds of things had been eating around the baskets and it just was a little bit messy and I just, Felt like it's better to have a bowl that you can clean out every time you put fruits in. Maybe one gets rotten, you can throw out the fruit, clean the bowl, put more fruits. But now I just wish I had a nice big bowl, which I'm now on the hunt for whenever we're back to like normal life and house shopping and all of that. Um, right, yeah, so I'm done. I just need to take my vitamins for the day. This shouldn't be here. I take this. That's skin, hair, nails, and vitamin C. I hate swallowing medicine, for the record. Oof, are we zoomed in a lot? I think we are. No. That's better. I'm not sure what's happening with my camera settings. I just know that it's making me look weirdly red. Sorry. Um, right, last day of this green juice, which I kind of feel like I should have finished it yesterday. I probably should have been using the larger glasses. I'm just going to drink this now. But the reason I'm switching on my camera on a Sunday, which I, ca I can't deal with this red. Oh, that's better. It's the light. I switched off the light. I think... Phew, that was gonna drive me nuts. I was not gonna be able to concentrate just looking at like redness. Anyway, last day of my green juice. Uh, literally just finished it and I kind of feel like I should have finished it yesterday. I don't think we should, it's, this is about the third day. Well, I think I'm kind of stretching it with keeping it that long, but I'm just gonna finish it now. Um, listen, the reason I, I, I wasn't even planning on filming today because I try not to film on Sundays just so I can like relax a little bit. Um, but, so I, I've been trying to minimize the amount of time I spend, sorry, the amount of time I spend on Twitter because I find that it, like in, in a matter of minutes, I don't even think it can take like a minute before I see something and it, I find it like, it just hits me hard and it's very upsetting. And, but at the same time, I also feel like that's a luxury to kind of remove myself from the realities and just the frustrations of what the government is enduring here in Kenya um, and just how people are really being let down. It, it, I, 
and it's just so heavy. So that, like, like even right now, I ended up watching this video and I was just crying my heart, like, anyway. So I was trying to figure out what the right balance is between not going on a platform or, you know, or just obsessing over news that will just leave me feeling down, upset, depressed, frustrated. Um, you know, so trying to strike a balance between not doing that all the time, but also not living outside of reality or in a little bubble because I don't want to upset myself. And I don't know if you guys struggle with this as well, but if you do, one of the things I decided to do um, is to find people in society in Kenya right now who are doing good and find ways to support them. And so, yes, there's bad things happening. And every once in a while, I'll have to confront that and you know but i don't have to do that every day what i can do is focus on people who are doing good and find ways to support them with what i have my voice uh money whatever i can to support them and i'm going to try and highlight that here so that if you feel like you can or want to that you can support them as well um, I actually even was talking to Janet yesterday, was it yesterday or the day before? Um, and she was telling me that she and Inua Dada have been putting out these packages and um, as soon as I have the pay bill, which I think she said she'll give me in a few days because she's still trying to sort that out, I will share that. If by the time this video goes live she's already given it to me, I will make sure it's on the screen. All the details will be on the screen and in the description box so that you can support and I will try and find new um, and different projects for you to support if you want. Yesterday I did even contribute to Shofko. Um, I'm going to leave that on the screen as well now and links in the description box. Um, just so that we kind of are, I don't know, if you're like me and you kind of go between Oh, it's too much. I just, I, if I look at this and I'll just be crying all day, getting so upset, frustrated, very angry. Um, but also I don't want to completely distance myself from what's happening. So hopefully this will help um, to focus on the good that's taking place, on the people who are doing something. Yes, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I'm now going to drink my green juice. Um, and step away from my phone for a little while because otherwise I'll just it'll just sit with me. I hope you're I hope you're doing well and I hope you are being kind to yourself and I I hope that you're in a good place here and here. I I hope you're in a good place. So I know my kitchen looks like something exploded, but you guys, look who made vegetable fried rice and is currently making a minced stew. Okay, so you should have seen that I was trying to, I was at um, Karura and I was trying to get like, I was trying to get my skipping in and do my double unders, which at the end, I did them. I did five double unders in a row, which is a record for me. I've never done that before. Um, but that's why I feel like I'm always like in crop tops, and but that's how I am in my house anyway. But that's not why. That's not why I even put the camera there. The reason is I wanted to share with you guys that I'm trying to be um, just to eat better and to use up what's in my fridge so that I'm not throwing things out, and that's why this is happening. Um, because I want to try and freeze some of this stuff so I can eat it across the week. And I know that some of you might be wondering where the vegetables are. Well, that's where my salad will come in. And I do have some spinach as well in the, in the fridge. But that's where my um, just salads and stuff, that's where, I'm, that's where I'm gonna get my greens in. But this is gonna be frozen in little boxes and put in my freezer for the rest of the week. Okay, so the last thing I'm trying to make, which I had completely forgotten about, is 
some beans, some yellow beans, which guys, I'm not gonna lie, I've never made this before. I, uh, uh, I don't know how great this is gonna be. It might be the flop here, and I kind of wish I didn't, oh, it's just fogging things up. I kind of wish I didn't put tomatoes, um, or maybe if I had blended them instead. I feel like that maybe would have been better. I don't know, how do you guys do your beans? These are just frozen ones that I bought in a supermarket. And then I've added some coconut milk, um, lots of spices. There is, what else is in there? Onions. Um, so once this is done, I'm just going to pack everything in little containers, put it in my freezer, and that's it. Good morning, you guys. You know how I made that meal yesterday and it was good. Like, I, I'm proud of myself, it was good. But, uh, this is a situation. In fact, let me come closer. It's just lots of things that need to be tidied up. But first, I wanna make some, uh, green, not green juice, a smoothie right now. I've got some frozen fruits, uh, that's mango and, what's down there, banana. And then I've got spinach, which I froze. And I've never done that before, but I froze it because it was, going, it was going to go bad and I just didn't want to waste it, so I froze it. Um, I'm going to try to do something different this time by putting oats in there. In fact, let's go get them. Uh, where are they? There we go. Oats. Uh, God, it's just... Let's just, I'm gonna push everything this way uh, and clean up after. I'm gonna put oats. What else will I put in there? Mm, oh, almond milk. Let's get that. I think I wanna go for this one. It's not enough. So I'll add bits of this, which I hope it's still good. I've never tried this brand before, but it was the only one in the shop when I when I went for it, so so I went for it. Um, almond milk, what else do we put in there? Oh, uh, I know. Chia seeds. I only have one hand, so I can only do this one hand. Chia seeds and flax seeds. Uh, what else do we need? Huh. Oh, I think I know what I want to add. Um, this, which is Moringa. Hmm. I think that's it. Yeah, okay, let's, let me try and push everything aside and then let's get to this. So I know I've told you guys about Coach Roseanne before, right? If you don't already, you should follow her. I'm gonna put her handle here. Um, and I remember her saying that you should put like one fruit to two vegetables, that kind of ratio, um, so that it's not just sugar that you're having in your smoothie, but actual nutrients. So, I th this was spinach. So what I'm gonna do is get some, some kale and add it in here, so that at least it's mango and banana, spinach and kale. I'm really happy, I'm really happy with the green juice though. I genuinely feel like I can tell a difference in my skin, but that I think also is a combination of just where my headspace is at, so I'm not as, I mean, am I stressed? <laughs> I think we all are stressed, but not as bad as I was. Um, trying to have more supplements, trying to eat a little bit better, I'm still not that great, but I'm just making little changes here and there. Um, so I'm gonna just have like three leaves. Like this. Oh, it doesn't feel fresh. I have never frozen spinach before, so this is interesting. Hope. Wow, that's way too much greens. What am I doing? Oh, this is too much. Fruits, that's frozen banana and mango. I've never added oats before, so this is the first. I don't know how much to add. Maybe I'll measure in teaspoonfuls. One, moved you a little closer. One, two, three. Flaxseed, I'm gonna put, that feels like a lot. And then chia seeds, oh yeah. One, 
and a half. I really don't like the smell of this. And that already is hipped with green stuff. Maybe let me just add a little bit. My body will thank me later. That couldn't even, like that was like a little bit. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. Almond milk, this is the one I usually use. I have to put a lot more. This one has some vanilla in it. How much is that? I'm gonna add more. This is a lot of, I don't know who I'm making this for. This is a lot. <laughs> the oats or this vanilla what is that vanilla that's uh, almond milk with vanilla but something smell tastes really nice and creamy oh I have a lot in there I'm gonna take which color straw I'm gonna take this little guy do you remember metal straws uh, Kenya is that their handle I don't know I'm gonna link it though in the description box but there we go I won. I won. I did good. Also, I'm gonna work out today. That's why I'm in my sports gear. Um, you know, just get more muscular up in these streets. Oh, er, er. That, that's really good and hearty. I think this is good. And the oats. Now I'm gonna clean up because nobody's gonna do that for me. Mm -hmm. And. This kitchen is gonna drive me crazy if it just looks like this. So I just need to clean things up. I wish I was kind of like my best friend, Mondi, you guys. Like, she won't eat until the dishes are washed. Like, she'll cook her meal, leave it there, clean up, and then that's when she's gonna eat. And I'm just like, <laughs> honey, they'll still be there the next day. <laughs> I am not cleaning up the dishes before I eat, so. That's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna clean up because last night I didn't. You guys, I have to share with you my message from my mom. I don't think she'll mind. I'm gonna ask her. If she minds, then this part will not be in the video. <laughs> but, uh, so my video just went up, the one about um, needing to get something off my chest. And, and I guess, so, Obviously, obviously I have a lot of respect for my family, my parents specifically, and it matters to me what they think. And one of the things that I was kind of sitting with, like, oh, I don't, I don't know what they'll think. I, I, I kind of was anxious about that. Um, and particularly my mom. I don't know why, but I was anxious about that. And <laughs> I could cry. So she sends this message. Um, this latest video of yours about getting stuff off your chest has some powerful energy. I loved it. It feels like a springboard moment and it's all about the energy, confidence and that sort of extravagant beauty you've got inside and out. You know, like, I don't know. It just, it's, um, I'm, I'm just so blessed have the parents that I have because I don't know I mean and especially in Kenya it's not always that you'll and uh, I, I just wow mama <laughs> okay I'm just gonna go cry a little and continue washing the dishes and I just wanted to share that uh, to me like I just hope that you know like I guess I'm just thinking about parenting now and how it's a never ending journey and how I guess maybe as she was watching that, I wonder if she felt concerned for me or, you know, cause I, you kind of just think 
or maybe it's me as a new mom, like you only have to worry about your child when they're small. But I've seen my mother worry about me in my 30s. Like kind of like have to pull me out of bed or kind of come see me to make sure that I'm okay because I was really down. And to think, I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. I think I'm just so grateful to have parents who still deeply care and want the best for me. And um, may, I, may I be as, as loving and, and amazing as they've been. I just hope to be this loving and this consistent in my loving as they've been with my, with my own. Okay, enough. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. I just got really choked up and even now my throat kind of feels heavy. And I wanted to share that. Jeff, do you mind being in my vlog? As a main, I'll be a playing <laughs> Um, okay, so I'm at my parents' house and we are going to go back to my house. I'm so excited about that. I'm going back with Jeff and Amani, which is always a fun time. And we're about to play a little bit of badminton before we head out. Amani, do you mind being in my vlog? No. Mom, do you want to be in my vlog? Not looking like this. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I just want to place it here. Come on, let's go play a little bit. Mama doesn't want to be in my vlog, but she did approve my message earlier. She said I could read her message, which I can't is good. I not remember how it was. But it was such a beautiful one. Okay, all right. Come on, come on, Amani. Let's go. Oh, all three of us? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say it, but I had a really good workout. And good lunch. Here, my mom. Where's your back? my sister's dog that's my sister for people who are new and don't know actually let me introduce everybody Yuki Amani Mama Jeff I'm the eldest I'm Sharon okay we're going home now as soon as I get these guys to leave this game which doesn't look like it's gonna be anytime soon 